Hello and welcome to another one of Dee's ADD videos. I'm going to go over conditional probability today. Uh, we're going to look at an example, just a quick refresher. The question always comes first and then it's the, the condition, the given. Uh, this is the main formula for conditional probabilities, but if you want to find the intersection, use this formula here. And basically the second line of a factor tree is always a conditional probability for these guys and if you want the intersection of this one and this one for instance you have to take the conditional probability times the condition probability alright so let's look at a brand new example uh, some of you may know that I moonlight in music and try to tell myself that one day I will have a CD out and, but let's say that it, my CD does do well and all of a sudden I need companies to start producing discs, compact discs. And let's say company A gets 50% of the workload because company A only has 2% errors, which leaves 90% error free, or 98. Company B has, let's say, 30% of the workload. And they had 95% success rate with no errors of disks and 5% errors. And C would be, let's say, they only had a 90% error free, leaving 10% disk errors. Alright, uh, so before I even ask you any questions, you should be able to look at this table and know that all of these right here are conditional probabilities. So if we call disk error event, so when they're producing the disk, we'll call that E, and then no error <coughs> As a result, will be the complement. All right. So, uh, or actually, let's just talk about the events, not the probabilities. So, those are the events. No error is E complement, and error is E. All right. So, if we're looking at this, that top spot right here this is actually the probability that there is no error given that it came from company A that's what this 98 percent is the next one is the probability that there is an error given that it came from A and following that same logic this would be from B from B and then this is the probability of no error from C this is the probability of from C alright so if you want the intersection of the any of these events so in, for instance error and A intersection, you would use the conditional probability formula. Uh, and it would be the probability of error given it came from A times the probability of A. Uh, and that would be 0.5 times 0.98 and then if you wanted the probability of A and ooh, actually that was no error so all those should have been uh, no errors right there not errors and then this one would be A intersection error and that would be probability of error given that it came from A times the probability of A. So that would be the conditional was 0 0.02 times 0 0.5, the condition A. So. 
and you can find the intersection of all of these doing what I'm doing here. So this one would be 0.95 times 0.3 and 0.05 times 0.3 then 0.2 times 0.9 then 0.2 times 0.1 all right so you have to get your handy dandy calculator out to figure out what those are, so let's do that real quick. So the first calculation was 0 0.05 times 0 0.98. The next one would be 0 0.02 times the next one would be 0.95 times 0.3. After that, we're going to have 0.05 times 0.3. Point two times point nine, and finally point two times point zero oh, or point one. So those are all the intersections. Again, refreshing your memory, it's going to be taking the conditional probability times the probability of the condition to get the intersection of those two events. All right. So now I could ask you something like. What is the probability of an error of a CD? So probability of error would be probability of error and A or probability of error and B or probability of error and C. So in this case, all these ORs can be replaced with plus signs and we just found all those intersections so error and A was 0 0.01 plus error and B was 0 0.015 and error and C is 0 0.02 and when you add all those you get Point of four five. That would be the probability of error. Now, if I wanted to ask something else, I could ask something like, uh, given, or let's say it like this. Let's say I go buy a CD. It has an error what is the probability that it came from company A So the way you would word that using conditional probabilities is probability of E given A, or I'm sorry, A given E, because the condition was that it had an error. Some equipment interrupted me, lost my train of thought. So that would be A intersection E over the probability of the condition E, which that is 0 0.01 divided by Point, what was that? 0.045 and that's 0.2222. All right. So recapping, uh, 
make sure that you know that the last row of a factor tree is always a conditional probability. Uh, like, for instance, this is the probability of an error given that it came from company A. If you want the intersection of A and that error, you multiply the two. And you do that for the whole column if you want all the intersections. And then, for instance, if you wanted the probability of an error, it would be all the different ways that there's an error. There's an error here, there's an error here, and there's an error here. So you would add them up. And then conditional probability is just the formula plugged in. I hope that's clarified any confusion that you might have. Make sure you practice, practice, practice. Thank you. Have a nice day.